Welcome aboard Blue Moon. I'm Jillian, and this is Jonas. We live aboard our 1978 Catalina 30 sailboat. Join us while we explore the West Coast by land and sea, while living in our tiny floating home. If you enjoy these videos, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching. In this episode, we used the sunny spring weather as an excuse to finally do some projects on Blue Moon. It doesn't get any more beautiful. This is how I procrastinate everything I need to be doing. Look at those window cells. This is what they used to look like. For a long time I couldn't figure out how to get them clean, but I've just been using one of these sponges, <clears throat> which I've had since the summer and I probably need to get a new one. But I just get this wet and I get and I put baking soda and a little bit of soap on it. Seems to be working. I don't know if the baking soda and soap do anything. It might just be the sponge, but yeah, I'm excited to get that stuff off because it's been really gross for a really long time. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. It's Friday night and we're just walking over to the truck. We're taking the truck up to Home Depot to get some supplies for this weekend. What are you doing? Checking the fluids. Our new Friday night tradition has turned into Home Depot runs. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> look for some uh, floor mats and some sponges, cleaning supplies. Yeah. And then we're gonna try and put up some curtains, so maybe some eyelets and velcro. It's beautification weekend here on Blue Moon. Beautiful. <laughs> and give her some love after some neglect. What happened? Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> Jillian's mad at me because. I did not put these in a stable location. No. And they fell onto the floor. Now, in my defense, someone has glued this already, so <laughs> it broke once. So you just need to fix it again. Well, add it to the list. <laughs> it's the calmest day on earth, too. I don't know how it, ha how it happened. <laughs> That's a nice way of saying it. It was a, it was a bad mistake. <laughs> No, it's okay. We'll get some clamp. Some yeah. glue. But first, coffee. We have a peephole now. We have a little peephole. <laughs> oh well. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. <laughs> it's kind one of funny. One day we thought we want to do, um, not that we get rid of these, but we want to do like a... What do you call that? Like a, a plexiglass, put sort of a plexiglass. Plexiglass would be cool, but with there's also no privacy. 
We thought about putting a plexiglass thing in for the summertime with maybe just like a swing door to let sunlight in and stuff. And yeah, that'd be really cool. On the docks, it wouldn't give us much privacy. What can you do? It's probably the best feeling in the whole world. What is? Having a clean boat. <laughs> for breakfast? Toast? Avec? Earth. <laughs> right? How do you say eggs in Spanish? Oof! <laughs> what? It's huevos. Oof! No, it's... Oh, Spanish. I thought you said French. <laughs> oh, Francais, we say oof! Francais? En espagnol? What do we say? En espagnol? Como se dice egg? Yes. Oof! No, no! Huevos! <laughs> Huevos! Huevos! Sa cloud. Sa cloud. Don't make that face. I just dropped sour cloud into the cutlery drawer. Oh. Jonas! Oh, gross. We actually have to wash that now. Don't put on the bagel. What you cooking? Eggs Ooh, and don't toast. It's for Jen. Looks wonderful. Yummy, yummy, yummy. This is an old and wet rag. There's so much we should put our flag pole out. Oh. Look at what you can find over here. So what we're hoping to do today is is put up uh, this I-beam and hang a little curtain um, over the quarter berth. Mainly because we store a lot of stuff in there and we just thought it would look a bit nicer if we can have sort of a just a white curtain hanging down because we don't go in there very often. Hmm, I think we're missing things. What? So we have these brackets. They hold the I-beam and we want them to hang just under there. Um, we don't want to drill into the, or we don't want to screw into the fiberglass. So we're going to use, a, just make a little um, sort of extension so that we can hold this bracket right here and there. And then we're going to have a second curtain um, hanging here and back here. So then we're going to have a split down the middle here so we can slide them into the side. And um, yeah, and we. We'll screw into this because it's just particle board. <laughs> nice. Now we just gotta hope it doesn't split when we screw. It actually seems like a decent piece of wood. Yeah. Yeah, we found this piece of wood uh, laying around in the boat. Am I straight? Yeah. Well, tell me if I'm not. Go a bit more towards the boat. Yeah, there you go. I literally have no concept of straightness. Oh! I must. Oops. Oh, I probably hit something funky. So cute. Oh my goodness. Just a childproof lock. And <laughs> I can never get into. Why do they make them so <sighs> push down and turn? See it's hard. I think I'm gonna have to accept the fact my fingers are gonna get dirty. Driftwood came in handy. <laughs> We 
we decided to actually go with a drop cloth to use as fabric for the curtain. We were looking at curtains and we were looking at, well, we couldn't find any tablecloths. Um, and yeah, this is what we went with. The reason we wanted sort of a pre-made thing is because it's hemmed and since we don't have a sewing machine at our disposal, this would be a lot to hand sew and we obviously don't want the bottom of the curtain to be fraying. So yeah, we went with the drop cloth. Also, this is usually a cheaper option than buying fabric. So we just got a canvas drop cloth. Uh, I really like the color of it. It's sort of a natural canvasy color. I don't know. Some people might not like it, but I do. So that's all that matters. Uh, straight? No. <laughs> that? Straight? No, back or towards me a bit. Good? Yeah. Just try that. How's it look? Looks like a hole. Now this one. This is stressful. I know, I actually hate drilling into the paint. This one is not going to be able to go be straight. But I think that's okay. Right? Or no, let's just on it. Let's be real. Okay. Drilled. See how it does. You know, it doesn't look too bad, considering it's just a scrap of wood we found on the inside of the boat. No, I don't think it looks bad at all. I know it might be wiggly, but I think the rod is just gonna hold it together. It's a lovely shot. <laughs> We've got the curtains cut, we've got the piece of wood remade because that split. Yeah. That was it bummer. split, we epoxied it, and split it again. Split again. We should have remade it. We should have remade it, yeah. Oh well. What can you do? What can you do? Oh, I think we're almost done. Um, yeah. That's all I got to say. Whoa. That's all I got to say too. Okay, cool. Let's, let's get her done. This is what the cabin starts to look like. Anytime we're doing projects, everything comes out. Cross your fingers. I think it's gonna work. I mean, I know it's gonna work, but... It'd be so nice to have a machine. Yeah. One day we'll get a little mini machine. Yeah, that would be really cool. <laughs> not off to a good start. <laughs> It'll be swaying in the waves and no one will even know that it's not straight. How are you making out? Uh, I'm actually making out pretty good. Is that number two? Nope, this is still the first one. <laughs> okay, I finally finished hemming the curtains. Um, what I did was I just, I like took the raw edge and I flipped it once and then I flipped it again and I sewed along there to sort of make it not fray. Here's the part that I missed and that's what happens when you don't. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a couple hours later we got some curtains. I'm so excited. They look so cute. Yeah, they should be good. I can't believe it's a cover up that mess. Cloth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm more than impressed with this material, actually. Got a little thing on my bobs. About to do an unconventional. I'm hoping this works. I taped a needle onto this like cotton 
thread <laughs> twine stuff and I'm just gonna poke it through. Race car outside. Okay. Maybe the first one goes here. I hope. Okay, but we're gonna do something else now. I didn't think that was gonna work. I'm actually I'm pleasantly surprised with how this is going. We needed a win. Needed the W. <laughs> Man, that's an excellent way to ruin an entire pad of paper. Oh well. So we're basically gonna tie these to these things, which go on the curtain. They're just sort of the easiest way we could do that. Um, and then they, they go on this track. Yeah, and then they'll go along the track and then we'll be able to slide it back and forth. We went over, we considered just like throwing it on a dowel or something, but then we wouldn't be able to Slide. slide it and we do need access back there and I think this will just be nicer. Yeah. Plus it looks kind of interesting. It does look interesting. It's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> yeah, that's so cute. Yeah, I think it's gonna turn on. Wow. Oh, nice! That's perfect! It is perfect. Let's move this up. <laughs> oh, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> this looks so cute though, I'm so excited. Cute! Cute! This was a win. I really think it was a win. And I'm very excited about that. We don't always have wins on this boat. <laughs> we often have... <laughs> and then lots of draws. <laughs> oh, there she goes. How's that? Wow, that looks amazing. We do have a bit of a gap here just because we didn't want to drill into the cockpit, but uh, we might fill that, we might not. To be determined. We did it! Oh, wow. You know, step back. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> That's so much nicer. Sure we'll never have to look at all of our junk That's again. Got strings now. Dun dun dun. Final product. This is so cute. And the gap we are worried about isn't even a gap. Look at that. Now you see it? Now you don't. We've also got a piece of, is it teak? Um, potentially. There's been this hole here under the, under the radio since we got the boat, so. And we're finally going to cover it. Okay, should I just imagine? Yeah. Or let's think about this. Well, you can just put one in and then it's easy to make it level because you just... I know, I'm just trying to actually hit the hole. And I kind of want to draw the drill. I'm basically trying to make... Oh, I see what you're saying. Pin pricks. One, two... See, where's this pin prick? That's the worrisome part about it. You'll just drill three and then see where the other one hits. Or, no, I probably just need to get... <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I'm having issues with this. I think I, if I... The thought process. Okay. Nice. Much better. Oops. Yeah. No oh holes. yeah, no look at that. Mm. Yeah, that looks amazing. Okay, let's get all of this stuff back. Yeah, the cabin is a disaster. Oh, disaster. Whoa. So we finished our curtain project and we're gonna try 
some homemade beer. One of our friends brewed this for us, so we'll let you know once he's a full-on production uh, <laughs> beer maker. He told us to open it outside just in case. Maybe over the cockpit, so if it does explode, we don't get it in the boat. Jonas. <gasps> Opa! <laughs> I honestly, I didn't see this. Oh, and that's... I thought it actually went away. <laughs> I thought it went to the moon. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I do know what you're saying. Wow, okay, sick. Cool. Yeah, I'm impressed. Wow. Wow. Tastes like real beer. I'm full. <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh, man. Yeah, well done, buddy. Mmm. That is so sick. Job well done. Job well done. Well, we did it. I feel very satisfied right now. Yeah, this project went uh, quite smooth, actually, in comparison to a lot of the things we've tried to do. <laughs> yeah. We only, well, yeah, it went very smooth. Yeah, as per usual, it took way longer than expected. But... Took all day, pretty much. Yeah. But the curtains look good. Yeah, they actually make such a difference. Oh, yeah. I'm stoked. Tomorrow, we paint the toilet. Yeah. She needs a fresh coat of paint. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to sign off for the night, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have anything to say today. I know. I'm just so tired and at peace. Catch you later. Catch you later. <laughs>